Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Strategic Command, World War II, World at War. It is May 1941 in our Axis Let's Play, and we are on the verge, I think, of going to war with the Soviet Union. Uh, it is getting a little bit late. Uh, the way the Soviet Union works is as this uh, as time passes, they're more likely to join the Allies and enter the war. They're up to a 59% chance of joining the or 59% alignment with the Allies. We have some diplomacy going there to try and work to lower that war score. But the higher this gets, the more they mobilize and get ready for war as well. So according to sort of some of the in-game tool tips, you usually want to go to war with the USSR when they're around a 60% mobilization or war likeliness so we're really getting into that category and next turn would be the historical invasion of the soviet union we're not ready for an invasion yet uh, we spent the better part of this turn as the germans sort of upgrading some of our units on the northern border we haven't had a chance to upgrade everybody or even get everybody into position yet so i'm not sure if we'll go to war at the historical timetable or if we'll delay a month Obviously, that's always risky when you're talking about delaying and uh, pushing yourself further into the winter. But I also don't want to go half-cocked. So we'll see how this all plays out, uh, but that'll be for the next turn. The only thing we really have to do left this turn, because we did cover some of uh, some well, the German turn, really, in our last episode, is we do have some stuff to do as the Japanese. So we've kind of consolidated our offensive in the south and kind of pulled back a little bit. Uh, but in the north and in the north as well. But the Japanese have a bunch of units to deploy. So if we go to new units here, we'll see the Japanese have a new headquarters unit uh, in Taipei, which I believe will probably support the invasion of the Philippines when we go to war with the United States. We also have some SNLEF forces uh, on the island of Taipei, which are coming up experienced level 11 units. In addition to that, we've got a whole bunch of tactical fighters and bombers, which I'm going to deploy to China for the time being because I'm not going to war with the United States quite yet. Uh, and we'll deploy these up here in the north. Additionally, we've got some islands that have uh, some new troops that are uh, able to be raised on those islands. Uh, so you can see here we can either deploy immediately to, uh, well actually we're required to deploy to some of these island bases, uh, bases like Saipan uh, and bases like Truck, uh, getting these units not quite at full strength. We also have a new headquarters unit in Hiroshima, uh, some new uh, amphibious troops there as well. Um, quite a few amphibious troops near Hiroshima and a new army unit there as well and a new Japanese submarine unit so uh, quite a few new units as the Japanese uh, they still have some money to spend but we're gonna hold off on spending that right now uh, the Italians also have some money to spend but we're also gonna hold off spending that right now um, trying to think of what else we can do this turn uh, the Germans have some aircraft that probably need reinforcements uh, the Italians, I think I've already reinforced the elements that I can. Most of the rest of the stuff has moved. Um, we've already moved our armor, right? Yeah, we have. Uh, let's see. Can we upgrade any of these units? No. So I think that just about does it for this turn. You know what's weird is that the minor allies pull from the German income, but the Italians have an income all, all to themselves. Um, okay, well, I guess that'll just about do it. Hmm. Alright. Uh, I think we already moved our naval assets. Those are all already in close to the shore. The only other thing is we could move this one Italian core. These guys haven't moved. Why don't we move these guys out of France and move them to the front? Over here. And then the Germans can't operate yet this turn, so... Move these guys toward Brest. These guys toward St. Malo. Those other guys on the coast. And I think we'll operate these Italian soldiers also out east to deal with the Soviets. I think we'll deploy them in the north. And uh, move these guys from Lily 
I don't, I'm not really too worried about Brussels rising up against us or Luxembourg. But anyway, I think that's what we'll do. We'll move those units kind of around a bit. The Italian fleet will be reinforced next turn. Desert Corps has moved into position. Troops down here destroyed. So, yeah, I think. I guess we put these guys. Oh, shit. Well, that was dumb. I just spent 50 points to move them amphibiously. All I wanted to do is transport them by sea. We'll need these guys to take Guam. Tinian is a settlement. It's not necessarily Japanese. I don't know. That's kind of not clear. But we need to take some of these bases once we go to war. It's a little ways away, though. We don't have to worry about it quite yet. All right, so... Trying to think of where I'm going to want all of these air units to fly into. That's eh, probably good right about there. All right, let's go ahead and end the turn, and we'll see if we're ready for a war with the United States or with um, with uh, the USSR later. Uh, with Yugoslavia surrendered and occupied by our forces, we could solidify our position by adjusting some borders and setting up a new friendly state in Croatia, you get it does cost you a little bit of money, but Croatia's economy will run more effectively as well. So basically, you just adjust a couple of borders here and there, and then you create a new uh, state in Croatia, uh, in the northern part of Yugoslavia, uh, and then you also get a Croatian armed forces, which will join your side uh, in the struggle against the Allies. Meanwhile, the Allies do have some forces on Crete. We report diplomatic success in Thailand, increasing their access uh, leaning by 20%. Wow. Um, Allied raiders interdicting our convoys in Norway, so that's going to impact our economy. Rudolf Hess flies to try and negotiate peace terms, and his plane is shot down or destroyed or whatever. And we'll see how the Allies try and mess with us this turn. I don't know. I Delaying to go to war with the USSR at this point seems risky, but it might also be what we want to do. I also don't really have money to reinforce my navy at this point, so I guess we'll see. I also don't know how to defeat the Chinese. It feels like I have to advance through unpassable mountainous terrain no matter which direction I go. In the north, there's mountains here. In the south, there's mountains I guess the only real option is here in the center near e Chang through this uh, absolutely impregnable wall of enemy fortifications, perhaps, uh, and enemy troops. I don't know. I've destroyed a few units down there, but I haven't really been able to uh, uh, make any real progress. Meanwhile, I've made progress in the north and south, but the terrain doesn't really work to our advantage to, to do much up there. Enemies starting to bomb some targets in France. You saw some British strategic bombers there moving. Meanwhile, counterattacks in the south near Chungking. Our troops are defending themselves nobly. British 7th Armor continues to attack the garrison and Sia Oasis, but to no real effect. We'll have to see how things play out, if we can slowly continue to press forward against the enemy in uh, North Africa. Meanwhile, partisan activity in China, communist partisan activity in China, more hindering of supplies on Crete. I don't know if there's really any point to trying to conquer Crete or not. I mean, I'm fine with leaving a British unit there just to starve and uh, waste away. There wasn't really much Allied activity, though. Special forces in India, more Japanese tactical bombers ready for deployment. Again, I'm going to deploy most of these guys in northern China because we're probably not going to need them from a war perspective for a while. Or maybe we should focus in the south and bomb the hell out of these troops. Maybe that's what we should do. Okay... Of course, none of these troops can actually advance. Forced march, maybe? No. 
No. I don't understand why... I, I still don't understand the red... Uh, red X, if you will. anti-aircraft guns. Again, the terrain is just all in our way. Alright. We'll deal with the anti-aircraft fire. Take the damage. Try and do some damage to those troops and then we'll fly ourselves a little bit further south. We didn't do anything. More anti-aircraft fire. We'll see if we lose more casualties here. We do. Did we actually do something this time? Yes, we did. Alright, so we weaken that court unit. And strafed him to no real purpose. Hey, some heavy bombers, some strategic bombers doing some good. Alright, so we weaken that core by a couple. Nice. Okay. There we go. Alright, so we destroyed that Japanese unit. Or that Chinese unit, sorry. <laughs> Not like we actually accomplished anything, though. Alright, so we're making some progress in the north, I guess. I don't really know what the supply situation here looks... Well, we'll get some supply. I think this is the supply once the hex turns over into our hands. So maybe we can advance on communist China here in the north. I'm not sure. But it's worth a shot, I suppose. Alright, we'll move these guys here. We'll move these guys here. Interesting attack that artillery. Can't do anything against it. We also can't get to this hex, this marsh hex. Uh, next turn we'll probably start attacking some of these fortified troops to try and advance down the Wu Gorge toward Chongqing from this direction. These guys apparently are green because they have a 0 to 5 uh, combat value. Okay. Wow, maybe we can actually destroy this army. Not quite. Got him! Destroyed the fortifications by combat. So perhaps no one can advance yet. Well, maybe next turn. But we did destroy that unit just uh, south of Yi Chang. Try and do some damage to these guys over here. So we did. We did some pretty serious damage to this unit. So crippled a core, destroyed an army. Um, still can't advance into that hex though. Alright, alright. Some progress I suppose. This isolated core out here in the north. These guys all have supply, right? Yes, they do. Okay. Nice. Destroyed that army core. Very nice. Alright. Do I want to pull those back to attack that engineer unit? I don't know. Alright, so... I don't know if I want to advance up this way toward Kunming from the south. It doesn't look like there's any real reason to do that. 
we should operate them over this direction, perhaps. Reinforce troops in the north there. Um, I think all these guys have all the reinforcements they can handle. Maybe we can flank out in the north, kind of work our way. This terrain all looks pretty flat, although there's no supply over there, so I don't know how we're going to manage with that. Meanwhile, these guys are all kind of good, just chilling. These portions of our fleet are fully upgraded. These guys still need to upgrade. Cheap to upgrade them, too. All right, these guys upgraded. So we're concentrating our fleet over here. I don't really want to pour any more reinforcements into China. We did get one of our Nanjing forces. So I think diplomacy-wise, it looks like the Soviet Union is swinging further toward the Allies. So what we're going to do, the Japanese don't have any chits. The Italians do. They don't have a lot of money. I'm really torn on what to do here. I... I don't want to invade the Soviet Union this turn. I just don't. I need to continue upgrading my troops. But I also really need... These guys can upgrade more? More anti-air defense? Oh my god, how do you... Like, how do you do this? It's so damn expensive. It's a hundred. I can only upgrade three units a turn. And I can't even get these guys all fully reinforced. All right, I probably should reinforce them before I upgrade them. Then I need to operate them and get them to the front. Uh, um, I mean, I really should make sure they're all fully reinforced before we go to war, I would think. But I don't even know what kind of money... I'm not even really going to have any money left over. Reinforce these fighters. I'm really going to focus my bombers in the north, though. I want to try and break open the front in the north, so I'm going to shift as much of my air force in that general direction, especially... Although there's not really any... Uh, my front is too crammed. I'll have to keep some in the south. Reinforce these guys. I think we're going to go to war in July. So I don't have any additional money to spend on diplomacy there. What about the Italian Navy? How much more do we need to spend to bring it back up to full strength? Not much. We probably can afford one... Um, no, I need to balance what I actually want to spend on reinforcements here. Let's just get to diplomacy right away. Italians are going to go, they have one chit they're going to invest in the Soviets. So we've got a 15% chance of swinging the Soviets to our side. The Japanese influence is all fully being spent. The Germans have no money to spend. But hopefully we can buy a few turns and just swing them to our side. Meanwhile, the Germans, where do I want them to bomb? Well, I've only got those garrison troops out here. So I think we'll have our bombers go after these British infantry here does look like they've got some escorts, or some interceptors, we've got some escorts. Okay. Alright. So we'll have our tanks attack these guys first. Nice. Then our uh, infantry will do nothing. Italian infantry go and finish them off. Yes, they can. All right. We can move the armor in. 
Or do we want the recon? So do your recon, detect what's out there. Then move the Italian armor in to do Jack Diddly. Because, you know, it's the Italian armor. Can't reinforce with those fighters. Fook. I really need to, like, flank out south and swing around. But I don't really think... I mean, there's not much supply out. Well, there's some supply. Um... Transport. This guy's be a C. I'll try and get these anti tank guns into this oasis and maybe deal with the British. Meanwhile, I think the Italian Navy's almost ready to put back to sea. German Navy's pretty badly beat up. Got a few heavy units that survived. Shit. Alright, enemy destroyers. So let's see. Okay, can we finish these destroyers off? I want to pull back to... Uh, ah! Some British whatever. Fuck. Well, just sailed them over the top of a su or of a destroyer, got them annihilated. British battleships here in the. Is this the Bay of Biscay? Are these British or are they French? They look like. Oh, they're British. Okay, so took some losses there. Fuck. Why are they... I mean, these British battleships are being pretty damn aggressive. Sailing through our home waters. I don't really want to lose my battleships trying to counter them. Um, can I sail out here, engage, and then retreat real quick? I can. Sell these guys up the channel. So that battleship can retreat. What do we have? I don't think we can reach. So I think we'll leave all of these guys where they are. You know what? Let's can we operate these guys? Yes, we can. Let's bring this army to the front in Russia. In the south there. That spends about all our remaining points for Germany. The weird thing is Japan's economy feels much more robust than Germany's does. I get that you kind of need to give Japan the tools they need to fight China and the US somewhat effectively, so maybe it's a gameplay balancing thing. I don't know. But it does feel a little bit odd that the Japanese definitely feel stronger than the Germans, which I just I, I don't think that bear is borne out in reality. Let's try and sneak these guys in. I don't know if we cut like I don't know if this really what their supply situation is. I feel I wish like. Other than just surrounding them, that the game kind of modeled supply, which I, I don't really feel like it does a very good job of that. But anyway, this should turn to our favor over here. Maybe we can adma advance on Kuming from the west, or from the east, east to west. I don't know. Um, reinforce these guys. All right, so I think that about does it for this turn. I don't think I can force march any of these guys.
I mean, Japan should probably spend some money on some new units, I guess. Or research, maybe. Germany's currently only spending 800 on research. That's going to come back to bite them. Japan is spending 1,000. They can spend up to 2,000. We've got 400. I don't really know if advanced <laughs> tanks are going to do much for us. Definitely investment in fighters is a smart thing. Long-range aircraft, um, industrial technology, or logistics or production technology. Those are all good investments. Infantry weapons, I really think, are one of the best investments that Japan can make. Um, and then advanced aircraft, obviously, as well. So we'll spend more on advanced aircraft or advanced fighters and infantry weapons. Uh, and that'll kind of spend what we have left. Uh, diplomacy, again, Japan has no more chits there. So Germany's the only one with chits, and we don't have any money to spend with the Germans because they have no money, even though they're not actually actively fighting anyone on a front right now. Uh, Guam, settlement, settlement. So who... Oh, wait, that's Japan. Japan, jungle, U.S. I don't think it penalized for sitting on transports for too long. I prefer not to go to war with the U.S. quite yet. I really wish it would tell me, like, hey, you can have the historical invasion of whatever. There's just a lot of settlements around here that don't... That, that belongs to the UK, that belongs to Japan. Tarawa didn't historically belong to Japan at this stage. But, anyway. Um, okay. So, we'll need a lot of those aircraft to deal with the Philippines, but until then, we can keep them where they're at. We're really going to hammer these guys with air next turn, assuming the weather cooperates. Meanwhile... I think we're just kind of trying to make sure that everybody is as reinforced as they can be. So I guess we'll move these guys north. So we'll really have a concentration of force over here. My Navy can't really do jack diddly. I don't know if we can sail our navy into the... Let's see if we can do that, actually. I don't know if we can sail them into the straits or not. If we can, it would be great. So let's, let's see what we can do there. I'm just going to test that out by sending one cruiser that away. We'll send this battleship here to Greece, and we'll move some of these additional forces kind of toward the Mediterranean in the event that we want to attack next turn, at least get these guys closer to where they would be needed. Um, but yeah, we'll go ahead and end June. We're not attacking the Soviet Union yet. That may be a bad idea. Tenth Army's forming in Jerusalem. I'm assuming that's bad for us. Foreign Minner Sturt, yes! Report success in the USSR. Swings him 7% to the Axis. Meanwhile, more diplomatic success in Thailand. Swinging him 14% to the Axis. Japan's developing more advanced aircraft. At least they have money to invest in that kind of a thing. And upgrading their, their aircraft. That's going to be really important when it comes time to fighting the United States problem is the Americans are just going to have so much shit. Or at least that's my anticipation. Wow, we almost destroyed that battleship. Of course the Chinese bring in a experienced, overstrengthed infantry corps to replace the one that they lost south of Yichang. Ugh. Alright. And this is, the weird thing is the Allied turn is on June 20th. Which is when the Germans invaded. Oh no, we lost a cruiser. Fuck. When the Germans invaded Russia. Why the Allies' turn is on June 20th seems strange to me. 
Lost a cruiser. We might lose another. Yep. Fuck. Disastrous turn for the German Navy here this turn, losing two cruisers. Potentially more. We'll see. Italian army losing a tank, perhaps? Or very nearly. Didn't quite lose it. Jeez, that was a bad turn. All right. Is that everything? I hope so. German Navy really got shot up there. Malta hinders access supply in the Mediterranean, because of course it does. We're hindering supply in Crete. I really wish I could cut supply to Egypt, but the damn Suez Canal makes that more or less impossible. Um, the Sheer and Prince Eugen are sunk. Destroyer spotted. All right, so they were at 64%. We swung them 7% toward the axis with our diplomacy. Quite a lot of intelligence coming in. New German U-boat. Uh, Japanese paratroopers, interesting. SNLEF paratroopers. I don't really know if I can prepare them for, like, paratrooping. I feel like that they're probably more useful in China, because I don't know how far they can really fly. Let's take a look at diplomacy. So we swung them 7% toward the axis, but despite that success, they still moved 1% toward the allies. So that was a useful turn, but it also didn't really accomplish a whole lot. Meanwhile, Germany just got a huge chunk of cash up to $504. Ugh. It's kind of like, well, we might, maybe we should go to war now. Uh, I could spend 150 and start do some investments, get them to 15%. The Japanese and the Italian, the Italians don't have enough money to invest in diplomacy there. What's Thailand at? Where are they at from the uh, Axis perspective? They're at 50% toward the Japanese. And they've got a 20% chance of moving that way. We really probably should be investing in countries like Spain or, I don't know, other countries that have a chance to move toward the Axis. Let's focus on... Before I worry about um, Russia, because we probably won't get to that this turn, let's focus on... China. I think what we're really going to have to do is try and overwhelm this core here in the north. Interesting that they're 11 strength, but we can destroy them almost. Um, Alright, let's bomb the hell out of this middle guy. These middle guys. The morale's at 88%. We're going to hit them with bombers. There's shit. Interceptors. Oh wait, but we have... We should have escorts. Yes, we do. All right, so they got more aircraft, some P-40s, which we badly mauled, although our bombers did lose pretty heavily. Um, these tactical bombers don't really seem to be of much use. Can we try and attack their fighters with our naval flotilla? Surprise, they're still around. Alright, so we didn't really hammer these guys the way I had hoped. Army fighters, naval flotilla. So these are tack bombers. Is that convoy mode? Is that raider? These guys are aircraft. Operate. Hmm. So, these guys already went, these guys already went, these guys already went. Meanwhile, naval flotilla, naval flotilla army fighters. I guess we'll try and bomb them. They did some damage, nice. Damn. Alright, 
I'm trying to move these guys closer to their targets. Hmm. So terrain is an issue. I'm trying to swing around their rear. Maybe get some army units around here. Can these guys force march? They can. But they can't get there, so it doesn't really matter. Right. Why are these guys so difficult to deal with? Hmm. Could it be supply? Is that an issue? No. Is it just terrain? Is there in a city, maybe? I'm not sure. Um, let's move our bomber down here. You can't bomb this turn. Alright, so I think I'm just going to try and destroy this new unit down here. Got him! Nice. Alright. So, can these guys move back? They can. So, we destroyed him. And I think... Can we just... Well, we already used all these guys, so we can't upgrade them. Damn. Reinforce. Those guys have no upgrades available. But they do have elite reinforcements. Hmm. Um, yeah, we'll do one elite reinforcements to overstrength these guys. Reinforce these guys to max. Reinforce these guys to max. These all moved, so we can't reinforce them. It's kind of weird, though. How's supply doing? It will be two, two, four. Is that the issue? Is it the lack of supply? Like, I don't... Guess we might as well upgrade them. We need to be spending more on research, I think, for Japan. We've done a good job on keeping the fighters up to date. Reinforce these guys in the south. We're losing experience because of attrition, but we need the manpower. Huh. Guessing Kuming is not empty. I'm correct. Why is there enemy contact? I didn't even... I intentionally didn't march into the city to avoid contact. All right, so there will be supply here. So that's good, at least. It'll be interesting to see if they march west to try and cut us off, but they'd, uh, they'd abandon this town, or at least they'd have to shift out an army or something to do that. I don't think they will. Let's attack this court, too. Nice. Nice. All right, so we've advanced for the first time in basically forever on this front. We're going to move these guys south. All right, so I'm, I'm weakening the center a little bit to swing south. Destroyed two Chinese units here. I don't know if they're going to move someone here. This is a major river hex, so I don't even know if we can move there next turn. I doubt it. But in any event, we destroyed a unit here. We destroyed a unit in the north. Now we could actually attack this fortification from three sides with three armies. Granted, we did lose some casualties there. But we can bomb the, the shit out of these guys and then try and attack them. And if we can do that, then we can move forward sort of on two 
two fronts, if you will. I will protect these guys from the north. I don't want to let them get attacked from too many directions at once. So theoretically, the Japanese could advance here, but that would be kind of exposing them into a salient. I don't think they'll do that. Um, so we'll see how the next turn plays out. But I'm pretty happy with where we're at for Japan right now. Um, I think... Let's get some of these guys to see. Again, I don't I don't know if there's a penalty or not. I I hope not. Um but we probably need to start moving our fleet into position. Is there supply for ships at sea? There is. Try and knock the American fleet out at Pearl. I don't really know how that works. But we'll soon find out. We'll see if we lose any supply. I think we've still got a couple of turns if we have to pull them back. So, their supply situation is, is 10 for all of these guys. Yeah, so we'll see how that works out for them. Meanwhile, I am going to try and move some of these troops into transports and whatnot. I think these guys will assist in the invasion as well. I'm not sure why they can't get on transports, though. Are the ports too small? No. And because of the weather? The weather's okay up there, though. Oh, shit. Like, I don't... I guess we'll do that. Alright, what's the supply situation? It's zero, one. These guys have two supply. So I don't want to move them too far. I want to keep them in, in their level of supply. All right, move these guys back to garrison. All right. All right, so that's going to be that, I think, on the northern front. Meanwhile, the European front, I need to figure out what to do. Should I invade the Soviet Union now or not? I don't have all my troops in place, but it might be advantageous to do it now. Meanwhile, can we sail? Doesn't look like we can go through the strait. At the very least, those guys need to reinforce. Since there's a sandstorm, I'm assuming all of our Ground personnel are grounded. Okay. Pull those tanks out. Bombard those guys. Nice. Nice! All right. I'll advance them. Move 
the uh, Africa armor forward. Africa core armor forward. Reinforce them. All right. So, very good, very good. Um, we've destroyed another British unit here near Mursa, whatever. We're deep, relatively deep into Egypt, and we've got two fortifications. We're near El Alamein. This is sort of the the equivalent to the peak penetration into Egypt that happened historically. I found the enemy carrier. And I didn't do anything versus it. Is Rhodes ours? It is. So can we attack? Well, we can't retreat. So... Well, that was a bit foolish. I'm gonna guess... The enemy probably won't stick around. At least that carrier probably won't stick around. Just because it, it'll be, it would be pretty risky for the carrier to stick around with no really nowhere really to retreat to. No, nowhere safe to retreat to anyway. So, we'll move our ships as close as we can get. While being in port. Hope maybe we can engage some surface vessels of their fleet and destroy them. Meanwhile, we lost two heavy cruisers of Germany last turn. That Those are basically ships we're never going to replace. Um... Enemy contact! Alright, there's an enemy battleship. Hmm. I need to figure out what I'm gonna do. I really don't want to go to war with Russia yet. that sub back up the channel. Alright, so we're moving one of our new newish battleships closer. Moving the other one. I don't want to engage him if I don't oh fuck. Nice! We managed to destroy an enemy capital warship. A battleship. I thought for sure that we were a goner. But uh, at least for now we survived. The enemy could raid us in this port. Let's upgrade the port. Make sure it has maximum anti-aircraft fire. To protect from enemy bombers. Shucks. No damage there. Alright. Um, yeah, that raid went reasonably well. Let's make sure we have some troops in Paris. Um, okay, so we destroyed an enemy battleship. I'd say that equals out the fact that they destroyed one of our cruisers. That's just me. We've got another battleship on the way. We've got these... Vehicles in the south. And ideally we'd use some of this money to upgrade more of our troops. But the problem is we don't really have, like, yeah, okay, we could upgrade them. But at the end of the day, if the Russian mobilization keeps going up, we're going to be in trouble. So it's been a little bit of a longer episode. I guess what I'll do is I'll save it. And then you guys let me know what you think. Should we go to war with Russia now with our current disposition here with these... Strong armored units in the middle, mostly upgraded. Um, some other armor units here in the south, not really in position. A bunch of infantry that's not upgraded to max. Our air force is all healthy, at least. 
but they're also not totally upgraded and ready for combat. Or actually, I guess they are. Our fighters aren't. And some of our tactical bombers aren't. Uh, they need to be upgraded with ad more advanced ground attack weaponry. But uh, what do you guys think? Should we go to war with Russia, or should we kind of stay where we're at? Why don't you let me know in the chat, and uh, or in the comments, and we'll we'll see where we go from there. Um, again, not all our troops are, are in position yet, but maybe it's better just to go with what we've got in the condition that we've got. Meanwhile, I'm, I'm feeling like maybe we're starting to break through in China, uh, but we've only got a handful of turns here before the Americans uh, probably will need to be dealt with for the Japanese as well. Uh, and a lot of these air support aircraft will have to be pulled to other duties. But for probably July, well, for next turn, for August and September and maybe October, for three more turns, we can use them to pound these forces here, hopefully break through and drive on Chongqing, and I think if we take Chongqing, China will fall. I'm not sure, but I think that would be the case. And then we could just maybe swing north. Uh, I, I don't know. We'll have to see. But uh, that is uh, a topic for next time. Until next time, however, this is the Historical Gamer saying, as always, thank you for watching, and I'm out. And I think I just saved three times in like two minutes. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm out.